The Greeks had the maxim know thyself. How did we come to know ourselves in terms of our personalities and more importantly potential well? One of the first ways to come to know yourself is to understand that you don't. Today I'm going to talk about how to really know yourself and why must know yourself to unlock your full potential. Part 1. The Fear We fear judgment by others, so we never become our true selves. It's hard to get low enough to understand ourselves deeply. It's because we are ignorant about who we are. But there's an upside to that too, which also is that you're also ignorant about who you could be. So to truly know yourself you must ask yourself, what are my dark fantasies? What are my aggressive fantasies? What is it that I'm willing to do? What am I interested in? What do I procrastinate about and why am I unwilling to do it? What do I think is good what do I congratulate myself for accomplishing? And what do I berate myself for failing to confront and implement? Those are all incredibly complicated questions and you don't know the answers to them. So that's a start. Part 2. The Potential In terms of the potential well, you'll discover a little bit more about your potential as you discover who you are especially the darker parts of yourself. Because then you discover your potential for mayhem. There's some real utility in that it's actually something that strengthens you. Because the first thing that a realization like that can in fact produce, the ambition to incorporate that dangerousness into a higher order personality. And that can make you implacable. T can make you someone who can say no when you need to say no. You know that can make you someone who won't avoid necessary conflict, so that's unbelievably useful. So that's one of the potentials that you might discover on your journey. Part 3. Pushing Yourself The other thing you do to discover your potential is, challenge yourself. You must compare yourself to who you were yesterday, and not to who someone else is today. A good way to start this is by taking a bit of a look at yourself, and think about what's not so good that you could improve, that you should improve by your own standards. Set yourself a little goal. Maybe you're not studying at all at your university or maybe you're at work and you've got this stack of paper and you haven't looked at that stack for like a month, but you know that you should. You're bothering yourself at night because you're avoiding that thing completely for one month. How about tomorrow? You just like put that stack of paper in front of your desk and you glance through it for 15 seconds to see if you can do that. If you can then that's an improvement. It's a humble goal. Withstand 15 seconds of exposure to anything you have been avoiding you're already better than you were before. It's like there are things you could do to improve and you know what they are and there are small steps that you could take that would put you in that direction of success. And then the question, are you big enough to take those small steps? Part 4. Accepting the facts. The other big challenge is accepting who you are. Are you capable of grappling with the fact that you're fundamentally flawed to the point where you have to break things down in almost childlike steps in order to manage them? The answer to that is, yeah you are. Most people have things they avoid and they're afraid of. So I would say to some degree, it's the lord of everyone. People vary in the degree to which they've conquered them and you do meet people from time to time who are extraordinarily disciplined. But most of the time they've got disciplined in exactly this manner. It's through slow incremental improvement. When you can do that you start to challenge yourself. With something slightly larger and more challenging. You try that larger challenge and you find out and as you try it and you find out generally you get better at it. You find out that you can take on larger and larger challenges. You know you take responsibility for yourself. That's part of standing up straight on your shoulders. You know yourself by watching and paying attention to yourself. It's as if you're watching like a snake. A snake watches cold-bloodedly with no emotional reaction to his prey. He doesn't allow others to interfere with his goal. Well, that's the beginning and then you challenge yourself continually to see how far past yesterday you can push today and tomorrow and to continually experiment. It takes a person out of the ordinary it takes them out of themselves and there's alienation and isolation. But there's deep meaning to be had in it and, and there isn't anything better than becoming a better version of yourself. I hope this video helps you become the person you want to be and achieve your goal. Leave a like a subscribe for more inspirational videos like this.